Hey, what is up guys? I Dubai Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys my follow-up thoughts on iOS 14.0.1. It's been a little over a week as of the filming of this video that Apple released this software to everyone worldwide and i wanted to go over some of the latest details and improvements within the software to see if apple really addressed these issues and have they been fixed now i also like to talk about the youtube community poll because you guys also vote and express your thoughts on how the software has been working for you we'll go over that as well and my personal experience so far with some of the bugs and new features within the software so let's dive right in now the number one thing that apple is looking to address with this uh, software is an issue with the default mail in Safari settings. So for example, if you download a third party mail application, for example, like Gmail, as you see here, and you set that one as your default when you go to settings and you set it as default, when you reboot your iPhone, it would go back to the Apple mail application. That issue was addressed with this software and I have to say that it is addressed because every time I reboot, it continues to stay on the Gmail application. So props to Apple for that. I have some more great news to share with you guys about this software as well. We'll get to some of those details here in a few seconds. Before we get to that, I do wanna share this splash screen for the Apple support, which I just came across. If you haven't seen this one, it is a new one when you download the Apple support application. So a new splash screen there. And a bug that I've come across is this one here. Now, every time I install a third party widget for whatever reason, it would just flicker, just like you see here. This is a screen capture. But when I reboot my iPhone, it seems to go away. For whatever reason, some of you guys have experienced this. Also, some app freezing when first launching applications, etc. Now, let's talk about uh, some of the battery performance, which I have some great news. At least in my personal experience so far, I've seen slight improvements in the battery department with iOS 14.0.1. Uh, some of you guys have also expressed this, so that's definitely good news. And the great news about iOS 14.0.1, which a lot of you guys will be happy to learn, is that Wi-Fi seems to finally be been stabilized, finally been fixed. If you were experiencing issues with Wi-Fi disconnected randomly, this has not happened or not once since updating to the latest 14.0.1. And this is definitely one of the issues that Apple was looking to address. So I'm super excited to share that information with you guys. Props to Apple. They finally did it. Hopefully it continues this way. But yeah, definitely, definitely great news there. Now in newer devices, I've also experienced the app freezing and the glitching of the widgets. But let's head on over to the YouTube community pool because as I mentioned, you guys also provided some feedback and 10,000 of you guys have voted already on this software and 51% uh, of you guys are having a great experience. So am I. Now, not a good experience or okay, but some bugs is at a 25%. 5% uh, is not a good experience at all. And 19% of you guys are not even running iOS 14.0.1. Now, if you were having Wi-Fi issues, then I definitely recommend you update because that's one of the biggest news here. I have to say that Apple has definitely addressed with this software let's take a look here at some of the comments as you can see here it's overall okay but freezing of some applications for about three seconds after launching the apps so just as i mentioned something i did encounter it is happening to a lot of you guys you can see there it's one of the most popular comments uh, the home application for some users continues to be an issue i haven't really encountered any issues with the home application but some of you guys look to be having this issue with the apple home application and some of you guys have noticed slight increase in the battery performance so have i so that's definitely good news as well however some older devices like iphone 7 users continue uh, to struggle with the battery performance now these youtube community posts are posted weekly so if you have any uh, doubts or any thoughts to share you can come back every week and vote and express your thoughts it helps everyone understand the software a little better and how everything is working so far now one thing i also want to mention is that within youtube picture in picture is now back within youtube within safari so if you play a video in safari you can go picture in picture for youtube that was uh, for some reason removed it's now back and it's fully functional on the latest software as well so that's also great news overall great news with the latest software stability battery yeah there is some bugs but i guess no software will ever be perfect apple is definitely in the right direction with 14.0.1 expect a few minor updates in the next couple of weeks to also address additional concerns with 14.0 14.0.1 and beyond but as of right now if you haven't updated i highly recommend you do 
do, especially if you've had Wi-Fi issues, as I mentioned, and some of the issues that Apple I claim to fix are definitely fixed on the latest software. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.